I've just noticed, Brad, it seems like you're kind of lost in universe with that black background. Thank you. I <laughs> said the same thing. He's in a black void. He's literally yeah, floating he's in floating. space. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I don't want to know what's behind. I don't. I don't think I want to know what's behind you. So I'm just gonna move on with my next question. Chaos. <laughs> what if you grab some kind of monster to the screen? <laughs> Guys, thank you for being uh, in the película. Thank you for your time. And sure. Brad, I would like to start with you. I've gotten the chance to talk to you a couple of times, and I genuinely think that you're one of the most charismatic actors on and off screen. Thank and you. I love how how that shows on on you know in this film. And I, I've I've always been curious: is it possible to enhance charisma as an actor on screen? Like, is it often that you find people in Hollywood that it's extremely extremely charismatic on screen and not charismatic at all off screen? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, first of all, did you hear what she said? Charismatic. We off. heard off. her off. question, Brad. Off. And you I all are honestly. I didn't see your heads nodding. Like That's because we were falling asleep. Say that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, I don't, I do not know. I do. Have I seen someone that's so compelling on and then not compelling in person? <laughs> I, I'm not naming names. I can't name names, but I'll tell you what you, when you see, when you watch like really, really strong actors and you can watch them from afar, do the scene and you don't, you're not really picking up on the nuances. And then you see them on the screen where they're blown up and just the little changes are, I, I, I always you're so charismatic right now. Brian is literally texting someone. No, I'm, <laughs> no I, you want to know what I'm doing? I, I looked That's up the definition. Charisma, you get I looked up the definition for charismatic, and it says exercising a compelling charm which inspires devotion in others. And then I was like, that is not Brad. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Gabby, on. I think you should move on. Really, <laughs> should I? We should really yeah. explore this some more. Yeah, I really right. do. I think my life is actually done by just this uh, like oh, 50 dear. seconds I've been here with you. You're actually, I, I, you you three are extremely charismatic, I have to say. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. I, I'm saying this from my heart and you know. Oh, I know. Gabby, oh, thank, I know. You, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Hi, there's a gun on you. It's the quiet car. Got to use your small inside voice in here, son. There's a gun. <laughs> David, first off, congratulations on this film. It is amazing. And I have to admit, when I was watching the film and I saw all these amazing, you know, action sequences, I was like, how does someone manage to make these people look so great, you know, despite what they're doing? And then I'm a production note uh, junkie. So I, I realized that you've been a stuntman, uh, a stuntman before. Do you feel like that has helped you somehow to kind of like a, have a different view as a director when it comes to action? Um, a hundred percent. I think, you know, a lot, you know, a lot of directors for better or worse, they don't have the experiences of like training an actor, choreographing a fight scene, telling a story with just action. Um, and that was my day job for 20 years in this business. And so, um, I'll, I'll never separate it from me when I now that I've taken the director chair like those those scenes are just as precious to me as the dramatic moments and um, I take great care to define the characters within them or make the funny moments or park that action as much as I do any other part of the movie. I want to do an action scene with you and I'm pretty sure I would suck. <laughs> you would make me <laughs> would look make good. You would make you look great. We make you look great. <laughs> Talk to me. I am ready. You are getting the new and improved me. Because if you put peace out in the world, you get peace back. I think you might be forgetting what you do for a living. Take the gun. Every job I do, somebody dies. I'm not that guy anymore. Some conflicts require a gun. Actually, my next question is for you guys, for Aaron and, and Brian. You know, I love how they jumped into this job thinking it was going to be easy and then it turned out to be extremely difficult. What has been that movie for you that you kind of like got in thinking it was going to be easy and then not so much? Uh, <laughs> I, tend, I tend not to pick the easy. I mean, I, I like a challenge, but, um, but you never really know. But like turning up, I mean, I think this became a definite sort of, yeah, I mean, it was a joy, you know, because... 
the challenge is, is when you, you get partnered with someone that you don't like and you've got to create a chemistry and it's all sort of on the page. Whereas for, for Brian and I, we just hit it off and uh, I think, you know, that that helped us and we added some magic to uh, to our characters. But uh, yeah, there wasn't, it didn't feel, it felt, felt like, felt like felt great going to work on this one honestly it did and and we really risked going to work you know like we were in the middle of the pandemic so you're leaving with your shield and your mask and you're, you don't know what's going on there were no vaccines at the time mandates were all over the place and then you show up on this lot with this this ensemble of amazing characters but also amazing people and for those 16 hours or so that you're there, you tend to forget that what's going on outside is still going on. And I think that that's a testimony to the environment and the project and the people. David Leach created an environment where we could go in and really, really forget our worries um, because we were so- Charisma, busy. Brian, charisma. Yeah, I was, I was half expecting Brad to start text. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, but, but all of that to say, as you can see, uh, we've created a rapport with each other after trying to kill each other for a few months. So you can't, you, that's something you, you can't buy. You know? <laughs>And you know, um, you were talking about the story, and obviously, this story is all developed in the same, you know, in the same place. Um, did you get to explore at all uh, what what the characters are like out of that bullet train, like what their lives are like? Did you get to answer any questions or make up some of your own? Well, we did. We get to do a little bit with the wolf in the movie, which is exciting. You know, we get to get his whole backstory, right? Um, um, uh, and uh, I think that that's that's sort of some of the fun things. Um, we had backstories for Lemon and Tangerine in our heads and like how they were twins and that, you know, um, but were they twins or not twins? And then, you know, we had sort of painted this backstory that they were adopted twins and that that would be the payoff. And so, um, obviously we'll, you know, you'll find that out if you see the movie, if they're twins or not. Um, but, uh, so yeah. <laughs> Favorite film of the year for sure. Thank you so much. I love yeah, that. Yeah, I loved it so much. Like I want to watch it over and over again. I'm, I've, I've been going around like this film that's coming out is so good. You have to watch it. I'm so glad. Thank you, for that. Thank thank you, you so much. Have a great day. What am I snatching and or grabbing? A briefcase. You said you wanted simple for your first job back. It doesn't get simpler. Oh. You stab me? Yeah! Oh, we'll ruin your life the way you ruin mine. Dude, I don't even know you. So, you know, I have to tell you that I actually related a lot with Ladybug because I'm that kind of person who thinks that has pretty bad luck. I'm actually sure I do have bad luck. What? But I love uh. how, you know, as an, as an audience member, you kind of think, this is not bad luck. It's actually a good thing for him. Has, has there ever been a moment in your career like that where you thought back then it was horrible and this was bad luck, but then you look back and think, I'm glad I didn't get that or I'm glad I didn't do this? I, I am always amazed looking back and went, wow, that was like, are we being looked after? Because that really, that really went much better than I understood it or could have chosen. So, uh, um, I mean, you know, what we're saying in the film that it's perspective, you know, it's it's all about perspective. And and what what does someone say? Uh, uh, I think it was Joey. Wasn't it Joey King when someone was going about the glass half full, glass half empty? And she just said the glass just is <laughs> it's got it's got some water in it. And that's probably the truth at the end of the day. Definitely. Guys, thank you so much for your time. I love the film. It's so great. And you guys are amazing. Great. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. Wait. That's a shit deal.